What's up guys and welcome to today's video. Today, um, since it's become an issue and it's still an issue and bigger creators are having issues like uh, even Casey Neistat made a video about it, I wanted to do kind of an updated uh, thought on like the constant demonetization and the limited ads things um, because a lot of the bigger creators are having problems, yes, but I wanted to touch on what this means for smaller creators and some of the changes that I'm seeing as a smaller creator. Now, right out of the gate, I do want to say I'm very fortunate. Um, a lot of my videos that get hit with the limited or no ads thing, usually that lifts in a couple of days. Um, the only downfall of that is most of the views have happened up to that point. And uh, it's just, you know, so it's not like anything comes in. Now, I will say to start this video off or a minute into this video that... I don't do YouTube to make money. I don't do YouTube because it's a career. Um, yes, I have gotten paid from YouTube, um, but no, it's not a career. It's not enough to have a sustainable living on, and um, so uh, it's not because of the money. I'm going to get into why I don't like it for more of a reason than just the money in a little bit, but um, that's not why I do YouTube. So the complaining isn't necessarily from a you're taking my money standpoint. Actually, I'll just get into that right now. So, my problem with the limited or no ads is that when you're not making YouTube money, you're not getting seen. And regardless of if your goal is to make money or not on YouTube, I mean, yes, I would love to make a living off of this, but I also know that that's probably not feasible. Uh, you would probably have to have some sort of outside sponsorships and stuff like that, and I fully understand that. But the problem is, you can't grow your brand. If you're not making YouTube money, they're not gonna promote you. So, when they throw the limited or no ads on, your video is no longer showing up in the suggested page, it's no longer showing up on the side in recommended videos, because you're not making YouTube money. Now, I used to do, on average, um, around 7,000, like at the height of my YouTube channel, I would do um, 7,000, a little bit more views per month, um, and, now, um, if I hit 57 or 5800 in a month, that's considered good. Like my views have dropped off tremendously, and it's because with the first 48 hours, sometimes up to the first week of a video being released, it's set at limited ads or no ads. And YouTube has an algorithm where within the first week of your video, it'll kind of promote it just to see if it catches on. Um, but when there's no ads, it doesn't because it's flagged as possibly offensive or something like that. And so it kind of just hurts you. Now, now the ultimate problem with that is as a small creator, there's no room to grow. If people don't see your videos, you can't grow. It's a little bit different of a guy. Well, honestly, I've noticed bigger channels too. There's a channel I watch specifically 1.2 million subscribers and his videos will average 40, sometimes 30,000 views. Um, and this guy used to do 100, 200, 300,000 views uh, over the course of a day or two. So it's hurting everybody. And the thing that sucks for smaller channels, and I've said this before, we are scapegoats. My video will not make a thousand views in a day. Heck, I don't have that many videos over a thousand views, um, period. Like, a lot of the videos that I have are under a hundred or under 500 or something like that. I do have a couple that are over a thousand. I have one that's like 14 or 15,000. But the point is, if you're not making a thousand views in a week on a specific video, you can't challenge it. So for small creators like me, we're the scapegoats. We're the guy, because YouTube can go to any advertiser they want to and say, look, see, limited or no ads, you're not running on that, we're taking care of this problem. Whoever they're showing it to is not gonna be like, well, let's go verify this is a huge account, right? They're just gonna be like, all right, cool, yeah, we don't want our stuff on that. And we're scapegoats. We can't challenge it, but we're the people that YouTube can say, hey, look, we're cracking down on this. And that's very frustrating. The other thing that sucks is there's no rhyme or reason to what the problem is. There's no, no one knows if it's certain keywords, no one knows if channels are flagged. Um, because when I have a video taking my son out to trick or treat and it gets flagged for offensive, what are we doing? Um, I'm a family friendly channel. I don't think there's ever been a curse word on this channel. There's never been anything graphic um, or sexual, like I'm a family friendly channel and when I get flagged for offensive stuff, it's just really confusing to me. The other argument that I have is, 
in my opinion, if you're an advertiser and you are willing to run your ads on the evening news, but not on a YouTube video, you are a hypocrite because the stuff that I see on the evening news is tenfold over any of the worst stuff I've seen on YouTube. So what does this mean for anybody, anybody who's a creator or anything like that? First and foremost, my tips, especially if you want to be a creator, what are your goals? My biggest tip is if you're trying to do this for the money, that's a no-go. Uh, I'm not one to say that don't try to go after your dreams, but YouTube is so broken right now, it's hard. If you have a love and passion for doing videos, then absolutely do it. It's rewarding. Because again, I don't make a living on this, but I'm very satisfied with what I do. Um, yes, I could jump ship. Yes, I could upload my videos somewhere else. And I'm probably going to start uploading my videos additionally to other channels outside of YouTube, maybe on Twitch, because Twitch has it to where you can upload pre-recorded videos and stuff like that. Um, but I'm not going to jump ship. And I'm not going to stop doing this, because even though, uh, you know, my channel is growing to an extent, it's just slow. Um, but at the end of the day, man, regardless of money or ads or, you know, anything like that, I, I want people to see my work because I love what I do. But that's exactly it. I love what I do. I love waking up every day. I'm sure Tracy's probably not a big fan of. Are you a fan of a Trey? Of me recording every day. She's gotten used to it. We're 510 days in, but uh, you know, it's. Um, I love doing it, and it's become a part of my life. There's been times where I've had pre-recorded videos. Uh, Tracy will tell you. I think it was our anniversary. I, I did a pre-recorded video, got it up. That way we could spend all day, and like the whole day, you know, if I had my phone or my camera, and I was just sitting there twitching like, I need to turn this on. I need to record something. Like, this is what I need to do. So, you know, whatever. It is what it is. Um, YouTube, the thing is, they could fix the problems. It's just that they probably won't. You know what I mean? And the other reason I'm not jumping ship is because everybody says there needs to be an alternate to YouTube, but YouTube controls the video market. There are other alternates to YouTube. You've got VidMe, you've got, again, you've got Twitch, you've got, um, what's the other one, Daily Motion. You've got a ton of stuff, but the problem is if the viewers don't go, you're stuck here. You know what I mean? Um, but again, as far as what it means for me, my channel, I'm not going anywhere. I'm staying here. Uh, if you have a recommended uh, platform that you'd like to see my videos on, if you don't get on here too much, feel free to let me know. I'll see about uploading them there. I think I'm going to start doing Twitch maybe here soon. Maybe not every single daily vlog, but I might start doing a lot of them just to see if there's any traction or anything over there. So, But uh, yeah, it's frustrating, man. Uh, and this isn't really a complaint per se as much as just... Uh, I know a lot of people don't understand, uh, you know, and they're, they're maybe not under, uh, understanding of the implications of what YouTube is doing with the limited ads, but uh, basically, man, it, it's already hard to, this video is all over the place, I know, it's already hard to grow on YouTube, especially as a smaller channel from where there's so many channels and YouTube's, I don't want to say so late into its life, but we're a decade in and YouTube is huge. It's already hard to get seen, but when YouTube is preventing you from being seen as a smaller channel... I don't have to be a rocket scientist to explain to you, it's going to be impossible to grow. So, I've been very fortunate, I'm very lucky, I'm very blessed to be at uh, 1,260 subscribers. Um, you know, I, I'm very, very fortunate. I've had a couple of lucky breaks. I've had a couple of um, really awesome people uh, who are bigger share my channel because they enjoy it and that meant the world to me and it's helped me grow. And that's about the only way you can grow on YouTube is it's kind of a luck of the draw thing. So. Hopefully YouTube will fix all these issues one day. Um, even just have, if they had a set system that told you what the problem was, that would be fantastic, but there's not. But maybe one day, man. Maybe we can all hope and pray. But that is gonna be my video today. I just wanted to say, cause like I said, I know that Casey Neistat made a video on it. There's a lot of people upset with it right now. h 3 h 3 Philip DeFranco, um, basically every big channel. I think Boogie's had some issues, uh, you know, and uh, so again, I just wanted to reiterate, because I haven't made videos like this before, but I wanted to just kind of give an update idea and kind of, you know, again, go into the implications for smaller channels, because uh, if you're not doing this because you love it, uh, you're going to be in for a world of hurt. So, but guys, thank you for watching. If you're new to my channel, if you stumbled across this uh, video uh, simply by the title of the video or whatever, subscribe man, stick around for a bit. I do daily videos. I've done daily videos every day since June 6th of 2000 and 15, 
2016, whatever it was. We're 510 days in, 2016. I'm not good at math, so. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you think about the monetization rules and stuff, man. I know it's affecting a lot more people than this. I know personally know people that this is affecting, so. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I will see you guys tomorrow.